Well, for this edition of Glass City Golf, boy, do we have a treat. We're out here at the legendary Inverness Club, the host of next week's LPGA Drive-On Championship. And joining me to discuss the tournament and all things Inverness is the head golf professional here at Inverness, AJ Sakula. AJ, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you Tell for being here. Tell us a little bit about uh, the club and the tournament and how this all came together, because it came together so quickly. Gosh, it, aren't you right, Alex? Uh, it's amazing what can happen in just a short amount of time. Uh, the LPGA reached out to the leadership here at the Inverness Club and asked if we'd be interested in, in hosting. And I think once, once the leadership found out about the positive impact that this event would have in, in the community here in Toledo and all of Northwest Ohio, uh, it quickly became a, a no-brainer to host the Drive One Championship here at the Inverness Club. We're right now standing on the tee box of Championship Hole 18, so this will be the view that uh, these golfers see as they, as they head up 18 on, uh, on Sunday. One, one girl will be uh, headed up 18 to win the championship. So tell us about this hole, the 18th hole, what kind of challenge will that pose to us and of course to the golfers this weekend? That's a fantastic question, Alex. So 18th is definitely the signature hole here at the Inverness Club. And it is my favorite hole, and I love strategic short par fours. So uh, we're standing here on the members tee box is where the ladies will be playing from, about just over 300 yards. And you can play this hole five different ways. You can hit driver, you can challenge it for the longer hitters. Uh, a lot of people will lay back. There's the fairway bunker just out there uh, on the left side where you can hit maybe a, a hybrid and stay short of it and have just around 100 yards in. Or there's another fairway bunker out there just short right that you can lay back and maybe have about a 60, 70, 80 yard shot in. So, so there's a bunch of different ways to play it. And I've told a lot of people that if you hit two really good shots here on 18 and you hit the green and you just two putt for par, you might you might leave the whole thing and go, oh, that's kind of a whole hum hole that there's nothing really yeah. to it. But the more you play it, the more trouble you get into, the, the more fun it is. Oh, perfect. I think that's playable. You are so good right there. Oh my there. God, that was the drive of my life. We got that on camera. <laughs> had to undergo any changes to get ready for the drive-on championship or has it pretty much stayed the same? Yeah, that's a good question. We we actually we were pretty much tournament ready. Uh, as soon as we made the decision to host the really? drive-on championship, we, we were ready to host. Uh, we're not we're not really growing up the rough. We're not it's not gonna be firmer or faster than it is just for everyday membership play here at the Inverness Club. This drive-on championship is going to be the first LPGA event since coronavirus shut down the entire sports world. Is there is there pressure in you know being the the first one back? Uh, well, we're not. There won't be spectators at the drive-on right. championship, so um, I, we don't think there's any extra pressure. But really, the whole point of, of having the event was was to allow the LPGA to, to come to two tour stops in the same city, similar to what the PGA Tour did sure. uh, in Columbus at Newfield Village. Uh, so to come here for the drive-on championship this coming week, and then to go to Highland Meadows for the Marathon Classic really just kind of worked out perfectly for the LPGA. Yeah, it's got to be pretty exciting for you guys to, to get to, to host this tournament and to have really the, the eyes of the golf world on Inverness. We are thrilled. The, yeah. the staff is all excited. The membership is excited. People are coming in every day talking about the tournament, talking about who's playing in the event. And so there is a lot of, uh, a lot of people looking forward to, to next week. And the cool thing about this event too is that this is a great preview for the Solheim Cup next year. It absolutely is. It absolutely is. And uh, Michelle Wee West was just named the assistant captain yesterday. Right. Uh, so I saw them on the, the Golf Channel uh, with Pat Hurst. And uh, the, that's kind of the, another thought of having this event was to just build that momentum, build some uh, some more excitement leading up to the Solheim Cup. All right, Alex. So this shot, you are 48 yards from the hole. 48 yards. 48, you got it. That's the best drive of my life. I'm, I'm never hitting a driver again. I'm, I'm going out on top of that <laughs> one. Oh my goodness. Great shot. So settle, settle, settle. Oh, Ooh, too much, way too much. Oh, you scared me a little bit. <laughs> All right, I'll finish out here. Oh, good try. We won't let you four putt your first time at the Inverness Club. <laughs> there oh, it is. Oh, yes. Way All to right. 
right. go. AJ, good playing. thanks a lot. That was a lot of fun. Hey, you know what they say, drives are for show, putts are for dough. <laughs>